everybody, this is Armin van Buren. Welcome to my studio. And uh, this is Sander Renneman. He's my tour manager and VJ from 250K, uh, the visual production company in the Netherlands. And I'm here to explain you uh, how I DJ with visuals and with my show, how I do it. And the reason why I want to explain you this is because uh, a lot of people uh, are asking me if I'm actually DJing live. Yes, I am actually DJing live. I'm still syncing up records old school and uh, I saw some uh, other colleagues of mine on the internet saying it's not possible to DJ with visuals that run in sync and DJ live and uh, with this setup uh, we're going to show you that it's absolutely possible uh, to still DJ uh, live and sync up your visuals without using uh, DVJ. Uh, the reason why I'm not do using the DVJs anymore is because they have a fixed aspect ratio of 4x3 and uh, Sander suggested to me that we want to step up uh, our game and sometimes you uh, I DJ in, in big arenas with big LED screens behind me uh, so and when I DJ it's sometimes it's really nice to have for example the face of the girl that's actually singing the vocal or if there's a, a big breakdown and you hear a big lead coming up so we can sync up uh, the music with the visuals so it's more of one show so the setup that I have here is my normal DJ setup that I use for my gigs um, this is the LED wall that's normally behind me. It's a TV monitor right now because I'm in my studio, but you have to imagine usually this is a big screen uh, behind me. Um, this is my uh, uh, DJ setup. Um, the reason why I'm using four players is because this is the only way uh, we can use timecode. Um, my mixer is a DJM uh, 2000 from Pioneer. Uh, these two players are actually uh, used for the audio track and these two uh, players are used for the SEMTI uh, signal so if you if you hear the uh, SEMTI signal it sounds something like this good old SEMTI and the, the good thing about that is is that triggers uh, the video uh, so the audio signal from this goes via a very long cable to front of house uh, where sender is sitting uh, and the VJ and it's uh, showing up here in the uh, VJ software um, so uh, when I start this player the video will uh, start playing over there. Uh, what's also very cool is we split um, this uh, thing. Uh, on the left channel there is uh, the SEMTI signal and on the right channel there's a click track and a countdown for if I have a vocalist running live. Uh, one of the other good things about playing with SEMTI is also that you can sync up for example fireworks or just have a basic clock running uh, backstage so the singers or the dancers know when they come up. I use um, a chat program on stage, that's why you see my laptop. I don't use my laptop for, for actual DJing, because I, most of my music comes now from the uh, USB drive uh, that I have in my system. So all my tracks are in WAV format and they come from a USB key. But I use my laptop to communicate with Sander and to tell him which track I'm about to play. So my set is not programmed in advance. I know not beforehand what I'm going to play, it depends on the people, so I'm still actually DJing. Um, so the trick of um, what I do is basically using the fader start technique. It's a really old fashioned technique they used to use in radio shows for when they were starting a record. And they, when you open the fader, uh, it brings out a high voltage signal and it starts the player. Um, but instead of starting one player, uh, we, uh, we split the, the fader start signal into two. Uh, so it won't only start this player, but also that player. And if I put the BPMs, uh, the, the pitch control, and the, on the exact same uh, amount, I know that the track will start at the exact same point because of the fader start. And I know it will run in sync because these players are really well constructed. So if you see here, uh, I have this track uh, running. Uh, it's, on the, it's ready to play now. Uh, it's a track called Suddenly Summer. Uh, it's running on 134 BPM. Uh, and uh, the tempo... Uh, is set at uh, 3.10. So what I do with the timecode track, I make sure that the uh, tempo is set to the same uh, amount, so 3.10, and uh, it starts at the exact same point in the track. So normally you start a track at zero, and when I now when I start the fader, there's a little menu in the DJM uh, 2000, and you can switch. If you uh, pull it up, you can uh, switch on and off the fader start. So if I start the track now, nothing will happen. If I uh, put the control on, the, the, the track will start playing. But with the track, 
the other player starts playing as well. So if you look at the screens, these two times are exactly the same. So I know that the track, the Senti signal, is started with the same BPM and at the exact same position as the audio track. So if you look on the screens right now, we use the APC. It runs in sync using two CD players. So now I can DJ uh, using uh, timecode and uh, have my tracks uh, played in the aspect ratio of the screen. So uh, when Sender comes into a room, uh, he sees what kind of LED wall there is or what kind of video screens there, uh, there are. Uh, usually every night it's different and Sander can adjust my uh, video content for that specific screen so you don't get really strange letters or uh, whatever. We have really uh, designed the content to be different every time. Uh, so when I mix in the next track, I make sure that the beep, of course, I, old fashioned, I try to, I, on my headphones, I sync up uh, uh, the next track with this uh, track that's currently running. So I need to find the BPM, which is 134. And I use the fader start to start the track. So again, I tell Sander in advance which track I'm gonna play. I'm using my laptop, I tell him, hey, the next track I'm gonna play is fine without you in this case. I turn on the, uh, the fader start, and when the beat comes back in and at the right point, I start mixing using the fader start. So Sander now gets two Senti signals. Senti running from this CD player and this CD player. The tracks are audio running in sync. This is what I normally hear on my headphones, so this is not what you hear, but when I mix in the track. So he can mix uh, using the uh, Akai APC, he can use uh, that to mix uh, the, the two different signals.